What's up design family and welcome back to another episode of Fit Design TV. So glad to have you back on the channel. On today's episode, we'll be looking at key promotional dates to consider as a fashion brand. Obviously, you want to be making strong sales all year round. However, as we all know, there are certain times during the year where consumers are much more willing to spend. We need to get in line with consumer spending habits. In order to do so, we have to understand what dates to run promotions. Obviously, during the year, there are certain dates that are more important than others. So on this quick episode, we'll run you through those dates, explain their significance, and potentially how to align with them. This will help you get better sales and at the same time introduce more people to your brand at times in the year where people are more willing to spend. Hey guys, and welcome to Fit Design TV. So glad to have you here. On this channel, we discuss all things sports fashion, graphic design, manufacturing, and technology. We'll discuss key topics, answer pressing questions, and provide actionable steps on starting your own product line. If you're interested in any of the above topics, stick around, you're in for a good one. Starting off the year, we have January. This represents the start of a new year and the beginning of a lot of people's New Year's resolutions. Especially as a sportswear or apparel brand, you can represent this as a way for you to improve your personal style or to start to dive into the aspects of taking care of yourself that you may have neglected in the past. And by dressing up and looking better, we ultimately can feel better about ourselves. So this is a great opportunity to tie into that and to help consumers feel better about themselves and to generate sales. At the same time, January represents the end of the fall season. So throughout the entire month, you can actually run end of fall sales, which are quite popular and can help drum up a lot of business for you. Moving into February, here we obviously have Valentine's Day. So this is a great opportunity for you to position your brand as a great gift option, especially for those who celebrate and are in relationships and would like to give a significant other something that is appropriate. Also do bear in mind that February typically represents the Chinese New Year. This can be quite a popular holiday in territories with large Chinese populations. So if that's your target market, make sure to take that into account. Also, February still represents the end of the fall season, so you can continuously push up these end of fall sales as you push towards your new releases for your spring and summer collections. Moving into April, here we have actually Christianity's most religiously significant holiday of Easter. So this is a great opportunity for you to benefit from the Easter sales special boom and to introduce more customers to your brand during this time. Do bear in mind that this is not a popular holiday in the East. So if that's your target market, then maybe avoid Easter. Moving into May, here we have the US's most famous labor holiday, and this is called Labor Day. This is a key promotional day that you definitely should consider, and it marks the start of the labor movement in the United States. At the same time, in most Western countries, this is right around the time where you would celebrate Mother's Day, typically in the second week of May if your brand is suitable to target the male or the female middle age demographic, then go ahead and definitely align with Mother's Day because it's a great gift giving opportunity and a great time to drum up promotions. Moving into June, here we have the end of summer and spring sales. This is a time where brands and retailers provide enticing discounts to encourage people to buy up summer and spring stock. So if you have extra stock that you wanna move, this is a great time while you're still in the middle of summer and consumers can get benefit out of that. The last thing you want to do is to offer a sale at the typically or at the far end of a season where people no longer have use for those products. For example, what use would it be to offer a spring or summer sale at the end of September? So do bear that in mind. Also, right around this time in Canada, the US and the UK, you have Father's Day. So just like with mothers, if your brand presents a great gift giving opportunity for a father, then that's definitely something you should align with. Do bear in mind that Father's Day, just like Mother's Day, actually differs from country to country. So make sure you check these specific dates in your target markets. Moving into July and August, here we have the 4th of July. So this is a date that you guys are all probably extremely familiar with, and this represents the Independence Day of the United States. 
It's also a great day for consumerism in the US and there's a lot of spending that goes around this day. Also, July is a great opportunity for you to continue your end of season summer sales. So if you have any remaining stock, you can align with this and you can actually benefit from people continuously purchasing during this period. Also, moving into August, here we have the back to school period. So a lot of retailers that cater towards a younger or scholastic generation will align with this. And if you offer any products that people in school could definitely want, then do take advantage of this opportunity. Now we have the month of October. October is an interesting time and there are two key dates that you should remember. The second Monday of October usually represents Canadian Thanksgiving. If your target market is primarily Canadian, then this is a great opportunity for you to provide Thanksgiving sales. And at the end of the month, obviously we have Halloween. So if your brand offers anything that people could use in this context, this is also a great opportunity. So don't miss it. Moving into November here, we have one of the biggest promotional months of the year. And in the US, this is marked by the beginning of Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is celebrated on the fourth Thursday of that month. And the day after is considered to be Black Friday. During this time, retailers are running tremendous discounts on all goods sold in an effort to drum up business. And because retailers are all around coordinated and offering these major discounts, this also represents the unofficial start of the buying season, especially for Christmas. The reason we call it Black Friday is because most retailers end up turning a profit during this time as they go from red to neutral, which is black. So that's an interesting tidbit that I just found out right now. Moving on from here, you have Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday is actually increasingly gaining in popularity as more and more e-commerce businesses are becoming the mainstream. So Cyber Monday is like Black Friday, but more geared towards online businesses. Obviously now even e-com businesses are producing Black Friday sales, but Cyber Monday is typically a more online oriented sales period. So what you'll see a lot of businesses do, even online businesses, they may offer Black Friday sales and then they may raise it up a notch when it comes to Cyber Monday. Moving into December, here we have a lot of key dates to remember. And we start off with the second Monday of December, which represents Green Monday. This is a very popular date, especially in Canada, the United States, the UK and Australia. And this is an opportunity similar to Cyber Monday where retailers offer tremendous discounts on goods on the biggest sales day of the year. So this is a, an awesome date and one that's often overlooked. But moving on from that, we typically have free shipping day. During the Christmas period, a lot of people are buying gifts. So one of the biggest concerns is, will my gift arrive by Christmas? A lot of retailers will align with this and will offer incentives to get people to buy by guaranteeing free shipping. So here we get free shipping day and by guaranteeing the arrival of goods before Christmas day. So this is, off, this is obviously another opportunity for you to offer some promotional discounting and to align with people's Christmas buying rush. Then we have Christmas day and moving on from Christmas day, especially in the UK, you have Boxing Day. Boxing Day is a time where retailers will clear over leftover stock from Christmas sales. So this is a time where you can have debt stock that you're selling at a discount in order to move your merchandise. Then you have New Year's Eve and typically the whole month will represent an end of fall season sales. So this is the beginning of the end of fall season sales that carries on into the new year. Hopefully by now you guys have seen the importance of setting a strong promotional calendar. A strong promotional plan will also help you drum up sales, introduce more people to your brands and consistently boost your revenue. Take these dates with a grain of salt because they won't apply to all brands and it depends on your local market and your specified markets. So use this as a roadmap and as a starting point. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see others like it, please consider subscribing and smashing a thumbs up so that more people can see these videos. It really motivates us to put more content out and to stay engaged with you guys. Thank you guys so much once again for tuning into Fit Design TV. Until next time, stay awesome.